here with Shane Goldick after the uh, Chili Bowl Nationals sixth place finish. Uh, Shane took rubber. Yeah. What do you got to say about that? Yeah, not what we came for there. I don't think it's not what anybody came for. Um, I thought our non-synergy drink Mavid racing car was really, really good before the rubber. Um, kind of cruising middle and around the top, around the bottom. I could kind of get it going anywhere. I was, I was a little too cautious the first couple laps, just cruising around in ninth and then uh, car came alive and I was really able to get by some really good cars and like Tanner Thorson and Basin and Tim's and um, a few different other guys uh, got by uh, Carrick or got to Carrick showed him my line and then he switched to my line and did it really badly and held me up and then uh, Days and Percy was able to get by you know then it really drove her and it was just kind of over from there uh, luckily I was able to get by Carrick a little bit before the rubber, as the rubber was coming, and then the rest of the race is just kind of a little lackluster there. That's uh, disappointing. They had five really good racetracks uh, all week, and then you know the big one that matters. They just miscalculated a bit, and um, I guess it is what it is. I just uh, following around that 29 car who's just uh, making his car 40 foot wide, not gonna pass that. So that's what it is. Do you want to see a change in lap number approach or anything like that, or is it just nature of the beast? I don't know. It's really easy now to be, you know, MF in the track crew, but shit, they did five really good nights. And, you know, I'm sure Gravel and all those guys that work on it thought they did the right thing, and, you know, it just didn't work out that way. I mean, the lap counts, you know, 55 is cool. Long races are cool. I like long races because it does kind of play into maybe saving your stuff for the end, but the way major racing is now we race 100 laps and guys you know at, at hangtown and guys race like it's lap seven like it's uh lap 99 so it's it like i don't know lap count maybe a better race would have been 30 laps i don't know what the race was like up front but it didn't look like anybody really passed anybody as far as finishing order so it's what it is uh try again next year i guess uh just frustrating that it just kind of don't even feel like you really had a shot. There's that big long run, the laps just clicked off, and um, yeah, it is what it is. We talked about it Thursday. You walk in on your prelim night, you go to the pole shuffle, you know, you're up there in the top 10, you're a contender. Do you leave here happy with that? Do you know, like, hey, it could have gone worse for us, we could have had bad luck, and it doesn't seem like yeah. you have that here. Yeah, I know it, like, we've kind of gotten to the point that's it's kind of a catch 22. Like, our, our team, we race midgets maybe once or twice maybe three times a year and uh for us to come here and run as good as we have we had every car um locked into at least the b or better um that's you know five cars in the b or better is that's the first time we've ever done that and that's something to be super proud of but at the same time we know our stuff's good we know our drivers are good and uh we know we're capable of running you know competing for being up on that podium on saturday night we just haven't quite got it done and just didn't even feel like we really had a shot tonight uh with the way the track went but that being said, super proud of all these guys. Like, we have five wing sprint car drivers that race midgets once a year, maybe twice. Uh, we got a bunch of crew guys that work on midgets once a year, maybe twice. And um, to be able to hang and, and run with these guys, get two of our cars in the in the big feature, uh, feels really good.